Well, the uh, scimitar, all right? You see a weapon similar to this. It's essentially a, a, a saber. It is a type of slashing and uh, raw blade. It goes by different names across Central Asia and the Middle East. Uh, in Persia, it's known as a shamshir. In India, it's a talwar. And what they all have is a, a single edge blades with a uh, false edge back here. Sometimes they're straighter, sometimes they widen here, giving more mass to the point. Very similar to our falchions. It's not the most maneuverable of swords, and of course, this one is a little bit enlarged for the armored sport, but um, it does have the capacity to actually turn it so that you can slip that curvature of that point right down in behind shields um, into faces with thrust. It's a decent weapon, and it survived for probably uh, more than a 1,000 years. It's best on horseback, camelback. It's not real effective against hard armors, though. It's made for soft targets. Blocking situation, there's a lot more uh, blade to block their blades with. Um, this does go naturally up into that, into that guard, into that high guard. You can do a cross guard with your shield if you have to. I got to be honest, it feels a little awkward in my hands yeah. as far as compared to the falchion that we've had here before, where it felt very, maybe right. it was a little heavy on top, but, but it felt even. But this feels pretty awkward. Once you get it against a target and you do that draw and you have that resistance, it actually feels pretty good. Yeah, you're right. And you'll see uh, a lot of uh, period depictions of uh, particularly cavalry charges, where the cavalry officer is holding his weapon uh, along these lines. This will tear, it will do a ripping motion. It'll go into the body and then roll out, tearing out, gouging out a large, uh, a large wound in somebody. And as your, as your horse goes by, the, the arm goes into this natural position like this, right. which allows you to bring it back on a slice or just hold it out on the side. It's a little unwieldy. 